Ah. I'm Justina Martino, and I'm the Public Engagement and Outreach Manager at Verge Center for the Arts. Back Open Studios is our largest public program, and it features an artist open studio tour during the middle two weekends of September. This program is a great opportunity for people who love art and want to dive deeper into our regional art community and meet artists and possibly buy some art. This is also an opportunity for people who might not normally walk into an art gallery or museum to find artists living in their own neighborhoods. Last year, in response to COVID, we had a fully online Sack Open Studios program. We wanted to come up with a way to still give people that behind the scenes feeling of meeting an artist in their studio. So we came up with this series, Conversations with Artists, which features regional art professionals interviewing Sack Open Studios artists on Zoom. We received a lot of really great feedback about this series last year. So even though we are having an in-person Open Studios tour this September, we decided to also bring this series back. All of the conversations with artists are held on Zoom. You can register by going to vergeart.com, clicking on the Sack Open Studios tab, and then finding the conversations with artists schedule. We'll also put recordings of the conversations up at a later date. Check out some of my favorite moments from this series so far. And I just, it just came, the idea came. And I, I think that we as uh, people, we just sometimes have to open our minds up and just let the ideas flow. Yeah, I think it's so interesting that you work with so many different materials. Why do you think that is? Because many artists have one or two materials that they primarily work with. Uh, I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to know if it will work, if I can do it. And uh, I'm curious. I'm always curious. I want to know. I want to know. It seems then that it's just natural for you. It's just part of life to make, be making things with your hands. Yeah, it's just part of life to be making things. That's the kind of household that I grew up in. You know, we didn't have a lot of resources available. And so we had to make everything. And um, even from the point of view of the toys available, you know, we would uh, use... Um, uh, uh, recyclable plastic cups or whatever we could find to then, you know, create the little fantasy world that kids, you know, like to create. Thanks for watching. If you know someone you think we should feature in our Friday Art Break, let us know in the comments or reach out to us at engagesac.org forward slash contact.